It is about 20 past six in the morning on the Saturday, the whatever it is of May. We are about to get a taxi to Da Nang Airport and then fly to Ho Chi Minh City. I am absolutely shattered because I did not sleep very well last night. But hey ho, we go, we go again. So we've got through, uh, just getting some food now, Burger King again, risking it. <laughs> Um, we've got through about an hour to spare. If we had taken the advice of our hotel, we wouldn't have left until about 10 minutes ago. And we'd have been stressing around like a madman. But luckily now we can have a bit of, uh, have a bit of food, not worry too much. And take it easy. We made it. Yay! Ho Chi Minh City, baby. We can't check in for another hour and a half. So we are going to walk 15 minutes in the midday sun to go to the American War Museum because we yeah. love making bad choices. Yeah. Here at the War Museum, loads of old planes. Uh, oop, nearly walked into one. Uh, helicopters, tanks outside. Had to go in now. Probably won't take too many videos inside. It's probably not appropriate. Very intrigued as to what this is going to be and how much Steph is going to cry. Uh, so, just came out of the War Remnants Museum and it was very graphic and very, I don't even know what words to use, <laughs> but I'm really glad I went. Um, as I said to Steph earlier that. It makes you think, because the way that the war is portrayed there and the way it's portrayed in Hollywood is like if um, World War II films all had the Nazis as the good guys. Because, uh, yeah, the Americans did some bad things. Um, bad things, which is a very much an understatement. Um, but we are going to get a cab now back to our hotel where we can hopefully check in. Maybe have a rest. And <laughs> today. Stalk some of my psyche. Yeah. <laughs> Put ourselves back together, I think. Okay, we've made it to our Airbnb. It's a bit weird because it's just above a phone off the shop. Um, got a little kitchen bit, got a bathroom there where Steph's doing a little wee. Got some aircon. Nice big open space, bed and uh, hangers, and then out here, uh, a balcony. I'm not sure how we actually open. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, got our own balcony, some more lovely views of Vietnam. I think it's just started to rain, or the person above has just started pouring water down. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to unpack, oh my God. relax. Uh, I'm guessing from the noise Stephanie is making that the bed is comfortable. And yeah, set us, set us, make ourselves at home downstairs for some late yeah. lunch. And some fur. Okay. Okay, we've got the same. Have you tried any of it yet? Yeah, really good. Really good. Sounds good. We're going out to get some pizza because we are both tired and we don't want any Vietnamese food again. Woo! These, these stinky bastards smell like rotten sewage and flesh and horrible things and they just, it's there everywhere and they stink. Didn't go to, oh, we're going to check out one of the markets, but the day market is just shut and the night market hasn't set up yet. So now we're kind of just walking around a bit aimlessly. <laughs> but just to see what the traffic looks like. In case you've not seen traffic before. Busy. So we are back. It is about half seven, quarter to eight. Um, we are very tired. I think a combination of maybe one too many cocktails yesterday and too much time in the sun yesterday and getting up at six o'clock today. Um, 
so we're just going to call it an early night because we've got to be up at half six tomorrow to go on our Mekong Delta tour, which we're really looking forward to. So we're going to have a chill one.